There are cheap achievements, and then there are absurdly cheap achievements. The first time I started Chime, wham, 50 points. What the hell? So I looked into it, and it turns out the five bucks I just spent was on its way to the Save the Children organization. Chime is a charity game with a charity achievement, but the freebies end there. What lies behind the goodwill and philanthropy is a charming puzzle game with an excellent musical element. In a manner quite similar to Luminous, Chime is a puzzle game with a beat. Said beat manifests itself as a line which sweeps left to right across the playfield in time with the music. It's your job to arrange a series of pentominoes, love that word, pentominoes, into rectangles. Once you've formed a solid mass no smaller than 3x3, three three, it fuses into a quad and a countdown begins. If you can add more pieces and expand the quad before the time's up, the countdown resets and your bigger, better form is now worth significantly more points. Let the time expire though and it becomes dormant and leaves the playfield with the next pass of the beat line. This frees up the space to craft more quads, but it also colors the area which it occupied for the remainder of the game. Cover 50% of the playfield with this color and you can advance to the next stage. Cover 100% and you get a bonus level. Over top of all this, a 3, 6, or 9 minute counter limits your time in the stage itself, and while forming quads can give you additional precious seconds, it's an uphill battle right from the jump. The more coverage you obtain, the richer the soundscape becomes, with quads and spare blocks resounding on the beat line and new pieces being added to the instrumentation as the game goes on. These compositions come courtesy of some of the biggest names in the biz, from Moby to Paul Hartnell of Orbital. The bad news is there's only five tracks in the game. You can't even obtain more as DLC, there's just five. And there are five really good tracks, don't get me wrong, and they only cost a buck a track when you break it down, but they go by really fast. Chime isn't really the kind of game that's a struggle to get through. Though it's challenging to do well, especially in the final stage, I wager your average John Q gamer won't have any difficulty playing through all five stages in a sitting, and a brief one at that. There's a free mode to play the game without the limitations of score or time, as a kind of relaxing musical experiment. Still, for as fun and innovative as the gameplay is, I can't help but be a bit disappointed. Maybe not disappointed, that's the wrong word. I feel... longing. I want more of this and would happily throw another five bucks to charity to do so. Unfortunately, while additional content was rumored for a while, talk seemed to have died down in the past year and a half. For now, you'll have to make do with a fun little five bucks worth of game and rest comfortably knowing that you've done something good today and got 50 achievement points without even really trying.